Okay, let me show you how we actually take a photo. So now I'm recording from the screen. Uh, I'm actually recording what's visible on the screen of the camera. Now I recommend with most cameras that you don't use live view to take a photo of an iris, but uh, to be able to show you on this screen is the only way. It's just a little bit slower uh, getting the, the focus right. But um, so anyway, so I press on the live view button here. Now you can see I'm putting the camera on my face. Half press. And then the photo is taken. So now I've the, the light settings here for dark irises. So the it's a rather bright iris that you can see here. Um, but it's it's useful if you're wanting to look at the the pupil border, the inner pupil border here. Um, so that's that. So let me take a photo with the settings slightly different. So uh, hang on a minute. So now. Uh, there we go. So let me get back in here. So the, the standard settings for most irises is by changing it to, I would say, 5.6 for most irises. As you can see there, 5.6. So let me take a photo. There you go. So that's for, for most irises, that will be good. So. It looks a little bit dark on the screen here, but that's like for bright blue eyes, that would be the right setting. For my eyes, it needs to be more like a, a f the focus needs to be more on. Uh, oops, hang on. Where am I? There we go. So we can put it on here. So five. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do side lighting. So let's get the lighting on this side here, for example. Um, there we go. And then we do the other side as well. There we go. So side lighting is very useful for seeing more of the, the three-dimensional aspects, so the, the valleys and the, the dips in the iris. So let me just zoom in here a little bit. So that was the, the eye before. There we go. And if we zoom in a bit, you can see the detail of the pupil border. Like in dark, dark irises, having side lighting is also helpful. So that's a little bit dark. Let me just take another photo here and change that so to 3.2. There we go. Like it, it, when you're not in live view on the camera, the photo is taken much faster than that. So, okay, let's have a closer look. Here we go. So, yeah, that's nice and sharp. You can see the, the pupil border very nicely. Now, the, it's best to have the opposite side. If you're doing side lighting, it's mainly to see the opposite side. That's where you'll get the most detail. Um, so there you go. So if you've got any questions, um, yeah, let me know. Thanks.